Welcome one and all to a brand new show I'm starting called The Library. The premise is actually really simple on this one. I'm going to pick a random thing from my library of DVDs, anime, and games and review it. And it'll be all impromptu, so it's usually going to be something that I can review quickly in a very small period of time. So, without further ado, let's actually pick something for our first episode. Hmm. Let's see here. Maybe a Saturn game. Yes. Ugh. Hmm. What do I have to work with? Here we go. Here's one I haven't talked about ever. Fighters Mega Mix. Seems as good a game as any. Let's give this a whirl. And now it's time to sit on the throne of gaming in order to play some Fighters Mega Mix. Ah, uh, yeah, starting the game now. Now, being a Sega Saturn game, I'm not expecting terribly great visuals, but we'll see how this goes. Still loading. It's an old CD-based system that happens. There we go. Big, bold title screen. Uh, I guess we'll go in one-player mode. Why not? Maybe the options would be useful. Okay. One-player mode. Uh, yay, I have select weird people. Let's go with this. Okay, so apparently this game is a mix of Virtua Fighter and a game called the Fighting Vipers, which I'm not familiar with, although I'm told I should be. So let's just pick a fighter, shall we? I like candy. Let's see, well, if just starting out, let's try the Novice Trial. Oh wow. Okay, these are Sega Saturn graphics. Let's see, Owl, okay. Oh, he's kicking my butt. Oh! Oh, butt smash! Butt smash! Okay, I'm starting to get the controls now. So it's kind of odd. It feels like it should be a three-button fighter, but it's not. Because the other buttons actually do stuff. Like, for example, there's actually a, like, throw button of some kind. Oh, it seems like you can get the same effect with a combination of the A and B buttons, so maybe it was a three-button fighter at some point. Whatever. Eat that noob. <sighs> Those character models. Yeah. The fighting system feels just like Virtua Fighting, only without ring-outs. Yay, I can turbo butt smash! Maybe I shouldn't rely on that. Oh, kick to the face. <laughs> she feels like a million feet in the air. Um, 
<laughs> What's up these camera angles? Picky. The heck is picky. Fight, fight, ready. So apparently that's picky. Is he work for the military or something? No, that's a skateboard, I guess not. Oh man, he's kicking my ass. Oh, my face! No, I need that! No! You know, for as basic as the gameplay really is, it's actually pretty enjoyable in the same way that Virtua Fighter is. I'm not terribly good at the game. But, I have to give credit where credit's due, and this is enjoyable. And it has panty shots. What's not the love? Oh, my face. Oh, wow, I just totally got my butt kicked. Yeah, I want to continue. Fight. Fight. Ready. Go. That's it. I'm going to butt smash you. I'm going to butt smash you until it hurts. Costume, or am I led to believe that this character really is an angel? For that matter, why would an angel be fighting a guy on. I don't even know what that is. I suppose there's supposed to be like bike pads or something, but. Whatever. Even though he has like. Uh, I guess those are knee pads there too, they just kind of don't look like it. Whatever the case. So, Shun! Whoever Shun is. Oh, it's the old drunken guy! He's in like every fighting game ever. I'm gonna kick his ass with my butt. I'm gonna kick his ass with my ass. Ass doesn't do a lot of damage. <laughs> Did enough that time. I do notice there's an absence of a traditional throw button like in um, Virtua Fighter. You can fling them across the stage, which will get them away from you, but you can't slam them on the ground. I don't know if that's a Fighting Vipers thing, or if that's just a tweak to the gameplay engine on this. Whatever the case. Also, it's one of those games where really jumping isn't the best idea. It's so floaty and unnatural. Just victories! The, the the camera is just like argh, just crazy. So am I fighting now? Oh, I'm fighting Grace, who is a inline skater. First, a guy on a skateboard now inline skates. Why is this a thing?
my backhand strong. Eat my butt. Apparently throwing them against the wall really hurts a lot. Yeah, that hurts a lot, which it's just difficult to do. Anti shot kick! When in doubt! <laughs> that just knocked her clothes off? Is she like naked? I couldn't even tell! That would be an awesome feature! Doubt so on the Saturn though. Oh, it's the whole like... Kung Fu expert guy. You can't survive my butt! Jeez, this guy went flying! Mighty butt! Jeez, that guy went flying like a hundred feet in the air. <laughs> oh man, those victory camera angles are crazy. Oh, I'm up against Candy now. I'm up against myself. Okay, come on me. I like that outfit better. What the heck did you do? Did you just like muck dive me? Out my face. Oh! Oh, the backgrounds really don't work here. I know what they were trying for, but the Saturn just can't do this. Oh, my face! That's it. When you doubt ass! When you, oh, what the heck happened? Something broke. Did my panties break? What? Oh man. What the heck? I broke something else! No idea what broke! Ugh! Those camera angles! Was that it? I don't care about the credits. This is one of those games where you can't skip the credits. Okay. Well, I guess I'll give you my overall thoughts at the moment. The physics of the system are really odd, but so are virtual fighters, really. Virtual fighter, I should say. So, there's nothing necessarily wrong with that. It's just a little on the strange side. Um, otherwise, it plays just like Virtua Fire, which isn't bad. It's a nice, fast place fighting system. Very basic. There's not really much in the way of special moves or anything, it's just directions with punches, kicks, and blocks. And those, you can throw by hitting a combination of buttons, or in this case, a specific button. Um, yeah, there's not a whole lot else to go on about. The system is 
probably one of the easiest for a new player to just pick up and just kind of work with. However, one big departure is the fact that there's no ring outs at all in this. Which is a big part of Virtua Fighter, so without the ring outs, eh. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I want to play through with one more character before I call it. The graphics are predictably 3D Saturn, which aren't terrible, but they aren't great. It's an early 3D game. Apparently Yu Suzuki worked on it, so can't be all bad. Yay, game over! You have to yell it at me now. See, so what do we got now? Okay, so let's try something else. How about Grace? Sure, let's beat some people up on rollerblades. Why not? Ah, oh, the puppy's just laying over there. So, let's see. I'm up against... Okay, that was easy. Plays a little different. Something you actually don't see a lot of. There's not a lot of African American females in fighting games, now that I think about it. Not really. Jeez! Why can't I do that? Here, let me kick your face. That looked like that hurt. Well, apparently this ground continues for <laughs> the camera on this thing. Wow, there's even clipping through her character model. Um, now I'm up against Sarah! How come all the virtual fire characters have like stages with no ring like no um like sides, so Jeez, Grace's kicks are pretty good for a chick on rollerblades. You know, I can't imagine that would actually make very good fighting attire. Yeah, maybe the freaking wheels would hurt a bit more than just the sole of, the sole of your foot. But, I don't know, I'm going to incline to believe that it's going to be incredibly difficult to keep your freaking balance while delivering three kicks in a row. I don't know, any martial arts experts want to chime in on that, but I'm gonna say no. No, that's not gonna happen. Oh, my face. Seriously, why are there like so few African American fight game characters? I know, yeah, it's a Japanese thing. I guess, because there's so few black anime characters, too. But still. I think you'd see a little bit more. I can only remember, like, her... I think there's a character from Dead or Alive that's black. I can't recall who it is, though. I, I, I know it's not Kristen, but it is one that's black. <laughs> Name's escaping me at the moment. It's not even, like, a character. Maybe it was Tina? No, it's definitely not Tina Armstrong. Um, been a while since I played Dead or Alive. And I can't think of anything else. Really, uh, I, I think there was like a Tanya in Mortal Kombat at some point. Wow, I'm just totally kicking this ninja's ass. Yeah, that's how it goes. You know, Rollerblader versus Single Ninja, Rollerblader wins every time, buddy! Every time! Jeez. That's pretty sad, actually. Um... 
The camera doesn't seem to know what it wants to do during those sequences. I know it's the ending taunts. Okay, so here's Jackie. Ready, go. Ready, go. Okay, so apparently only certain characters can get their armor ripped off of them. I think it's the Fighting Vipers characters? I think you can't do it to the Virtua Fighter ones, which is really odd. Why include a mechanic like that if you're not going to make it work for every character in the game? It's not like the Virtua Fighter characters are any stronger or weaker in general than the Fighting Vipers ones, so... I, I don't understand it. I mean, I don't see the Fighting Vipers characters playing out more damage. Just confuses me. Hey, look! Actual camera angle that works that time. So now I'll put Gets Wolf! Black chick in freaking tacking. I can't go. Oh god! <laughs> the suplex me from my leg. Pretty crazy. Come on, my face! What the heck? Whatever. Hey, look, it's actually not an infinitely um, sprawling stage for once. I know you can break the stages at some point, so I'm gonna try it here. Yeah, there we go. Just broke him through the stage. <laughs> oh wow, he bled! Something I didn't notice before. Final stage of this Kids Akira? What? <laughs> it's a cheapy Akira! I think it's from Virtual Fire 2 Kids. Huh. I didn't see him playable. Is he like a secret character or something? I heard the one thing I know about this game is I heard like the Daytona car is hitting in it. That'd be awesome if I unlocked the Daytona USA car. And what more could you want from life, right? The Daytona USA car! Wow, I just double perfected this character. A joke. Mm -hmm. Winner! I think I can't call this one until I go through it with a Virtua Fire character just to make sure that it doesn't play drastically differently somehow for the Virtua Fire crowd. Or that they aren't stronger or something. I think the ending music is different this time. Um... I haven't a hard time coming with anything else to really say. The graphics are what you would expect of a 3D Saturn game. I only mentioned this. Um, this go around really hasn't changed my perspective on the game much at all. So, one more time, once this unskippable freaking credit screen goes by, I swear, I think the credit screen lasts longer than the game itself. Like, there's only seven stages in each of, the of these arcade modes, I should say. Backgrounds are also kind of... Uh, I guess they're not the worst for the time, but it certainly isn't. I don't... I feel like I'm pushing the Saturn to its limit here. But again, the Saturn was always good at 2D games, so... I don't know, maybe just... <laughs> cute little mole. Um, maybe, just maybe the whole, um... Goodness, um... Maybe just having a 3D game like this really is pushing this system. I don't know. Let's see. So, time to get back into it. One last go. I'm 
player mode. Oh, I unlocked both Kid Sarah and Kid Zakira, so... You know what? Let's play as Kid Sarah, why not? Um, yeah, let's go with Quissy, fighting Vipers. See how well the hitting characters handles. Oh god! This character is terrible! Who thought this was a good idea? <laughs> oh man, this is horrible. <laughs> Jeez, I have so little range. I guess if you're a little kid, that's what happens, right? But still. Oh. Oh, that was bad. I do not want to continue after that. Yeah, no, no, Wow, Kid Zero was horrible. It's like playing one of the, like, Taru in, like, freaking, um, Street Fighter X Tekken. Just don't do it, man. Um, pick up virtual fight. Let's play regular Sarah to see if she handles a little better. Um, so, Vipers. Okay, come on. Oh god! Jeez! Okay, so there is a throw button, but only for the Virtua Fighter characters, it's really odd. Seems to be just falling for it. Hiya! So you basically have to throw everyone. Okay, so yeah, it turns out the fighting faithless characters do feel a lot stronger. For whatever reason. Is it because of the clothing weakness? Fire sucks so bad. All they have is the cheesy throw. <laughs> she can't King initiate on Wake Up. Oh, that's so bullshit. So apparently, you're either throwing as a virtual fire character. Or you're losing. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Not even fair. <laughs> Dead. 
didn't even catch that. Tokyo! Ow, my face. Ow, my face. Oh! Stop doing that! Oh, shit! Oh. Okay, so yeah, you definitely want to play Fighting Vipers if you do not like grapples. <laughs> I don't know if the character I picked is just very grapple focused, because I don't play a lot of um, Virtua Fighter, obviously. I don't hate it, I just don't play a lot. Stupid how effective the throw is. I don't get what she's saying. Sarah versus Sandman. Sandman. Yeah, of course, that's exactly why I thought when I heard Sandman. How is one throw equivalency to all of that damage that he just did to me? The music is pretty rocking here. Actually, I really haven't mentioned the music yet, have I? That's how kind of unremarkable it's been. This is like the only one that I would even consider like putting on my iPod or something. He just threw his ass at me. Now I'm gonna kill you. Now I'm gonna kill you dead. I'm gonna slam your fat ass on the ground so many times. Yeah. No way you live! Saying you better run home tomorrow now. Oh, I'm up against Raxel! What's Raxel? Oh shit! It's like a brutal legend had less dignity. Oh man, come on. Okay, so I took a lot of damage early on. Ow, my face! Kinda neat. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. We can pull the geese Howard. <laughs> Holy freaking hell of a Music's pretty awesome here, actually. Okay. I don't know why that worked, but it worked. Oh no! Don't throw me out of the elevator again! That really hurt! The fighting Viper strike hard. Oh jeez! Gonna die! Yeah, I think that's about enough. I think I can call this game here. It's not terrible. Guess if you really like your Virtua Fighter, then there's no reason not to play this game. It's also kind of good to throw out against someone that doesn't really play fighting games, because there's not really much technicality to it. Or well, memorization at least, so you don't have to go in and memorize a bunch of different moves and combos and crap like that. Overall, it's not a bad game, honestly. So, what do you want me to do next time? Any particular console? I have quite a ton of them, but for simplicity's sake, I can either review a 3DO game, a Super NES game, or an Xbox original game. So let me know in the comments what kind of game you want me to review next time. 
Until then, I hope to see you back here on the next edition of The, the Library.